Hey guys, first and foremost, I would like to take a moment to give a very special thanks to each and every one of my subscribers for being here with me ever since my first YouTube video. This video marked my 10,000 subscriber moment. I'm very proud of this channel. It is something I really love to do and enjoy every moment doing it. I hope you guys continue to support me in the future as this channel grow and I promise I will make it better and better for you guys and hopefully to bring more exclusive cars to the channel for all of you. So once again, thank you very much for your continued support and now let's go ahead and talk about the car. The Porsche Panorama is a luxury 4-door sedan manufactured by Porsche AG of Germany. It is currently in its second generation and today I'm proudly to present to you the 2015 Porsche Panorama Turbo in white with Sport Chrono package. The new Panorama Turbo is powered by a 4.8 liter twin turbo V8 engine with direct fuel injection, variable cam plus and intercooler boasting an impressive 520 horsepower with 516 pound feet of torque. It also features two turbocharger arranged in parallel, one for each cylinder bank. Intact air is compressed and then fed to the engine by the respective charge air cooler for each cylinder strand. The rear end of the panorama has been restyled. It lines sharpen. The rear screen is larger and flatter. It is also wider. Just like the automatically deploying spoiler, the LED tail light has become narrower and more crisply defined. With the new Panorama model, the proportion and use of form are typical of any Porsche. The wings are higher than the bonnet and they add muscle at the rear. The roof lines taper down to the rear. Another typical Porsche characteristic is the evolution of design. It's more precise, sharper and edgier. Up front, the first thing you will notice is the bi-xenon headlight with Porsche dynamic light system and the 4-point LED daytime running light are also integrated into the headlight. High intensity retractable headlight washer and park assist are also built into the front bumper. There is the double LED turn signal light as well as the lower triple blade design grille which gives the front end a very aggressive style. A closer look at the grill. It also comes with intermittent windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Cornering light are also integrated into the front bumper. This particular model comes with the 19 inch Panorama Turbo 2 wheel with 255 45 for the front. Behind the wheel is the set of 390mm slotted and ventilated breakers with 6 piston brake caliber for faster stopping. Red painted brake caliber also comes with Porsche lettering on it. And here's the unique fender with turn signal indicator. Body color side view mirror with folded options. On top is the uh, sunroof that can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are staggered in width and comes with 285 40 performance tires. Behind the rear wheel is the set of 350mm slotted and ventilated brakes with 4 piston brake caliber painted in red with Porsche lettering on it as well. To the back is the stylish LED tail light with LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate quicker and help alert driver behind faster to prevent possible accident. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the court round chrome tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Parking sensor are also integrated into the rear bumper. And here is the rear view camera that will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. P 
panorama turbo badging on the trunk lid. And there is the automatically deploying rear spoiler and the trunk release button. Third LED brake light on top. Okay, here I have the remote. Very stylish and cool looking remote. On the remote, I have the unlock, lock, trunk release, and panic button on the back. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system. So with the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as white, featuring a full espresso leather interior with wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very nice looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, insert the key into the key ignition located on the left and turn it to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the panorama turbo have to offer. Under the hood is a 4.8 liter twin turbo V8 engine with aluminum block and heads, direct fuel injections with dry shut lubrication. 32 valve variable cam plus with 4 valve per cylinder, 7 speed PDK transmission with active all wheel drive system, pushing out 520 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 3.9 second. This model can make it even faster with the chrono package, which is 3.7 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 189 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city, 18 highway, and 24 combined. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. And here is a look at the driver's side door panel with beautiful wood trims and aluminum trims on it. Door lock and unlock. Two position memory setting. All four windows are fully automatic. There you have the side view mirror controlled with folded options. There's the storage compartment on the door. Burmester surround sound speaker. Turbo aluminum door seal. And there's the sport pedal. And here is a closer look at the seat. It is perforated and does offer heated and ventilated options. Porsche logo embossed on the headrest. Both front seats feature 14-way power adjustable seat, including 4-way power lumbar support, with two preset memory for driver seat, steering wheel, 
and outside mirror. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather with nicely aluminum trims in the middle. Looks and feel really nice. Located on each side of the wheel, you have the status screen. On the left, it shows you which mode you're currently in. And the right shows launch control. And here's a look at the analog gauge. Behind the wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And behind the pedal shifter you have the windshield wiper controlled. Over to the left you have the turn signal light controlled. Cruise controlled. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. Over to the left, you have the driver side air vent. Light controlled. And beautiful wood trims and aluminum trims on it. And that's the parking brake. Here's a closer look at the dash. And the beautiful round analog clock. Now this particular model does come with the optional Burmester high-end surround sound system, which is one of the most respective manufacturers of high-end audio equipment worldwide. The system has 16 amplifier channels with a total output of more than 1000 watts, 16 loudspeakers, including an active subwoofer with 300 watts total output, which will blow you and your passenger away with the sound quality. Alright, looking at the center stack, you have the large multimedia touchscreen display with the two dual events side by side. The system is very responsive and is very easy to use. Now you can move the knob on the right, you can move it around to move around screen to zoom in and out of the map, or you can press it in to select. Alright, located on the center console you have the emergency hazard light, the retractable rear spoiler button, and full climate control for the driver and passenger. Heated and ventilated seat. On the left side you have the Sport Sport Plus mode, suspension setting, suspension height, traction on and off, exhaust note, ashtray and cigarette lighter, and here's the gear lever with panorama lettering on it. Alright, just press the unlock button and pull down to get into reverse. Once it is in reverse, side view mirror will automatically tilt down and rear camera will also appear on the multimeter screen to help with a much easier backup with guidance line as well. Right, just pull down again for neutral and down again for drive. Over to the left for manual mode and that's when you can use the pedal shifter located behind the steering wheel to change gear. Or you can also move it up or down to change gear as well. Pretty easy to use. There you have the cup holder. Center storage compartment with USB and auxiliary input as well as the 12 volt power outlet.
on the dash you have uh, another two cup holder and the glove box compartment all right here's the closer look at the seat very nice sport seat with great upholstery material on top you have the uh, parking on and off parking sensor on and off light controlled and the three button universal garage door opener rear view mirror and the one touch open close and tilt sunroof sun visor mirror with a card holder okay let's take a closer look at the rear seat rear seat offers seating for two and it is pretty spacious in the back the rear seat does feature for 60 or 40 split folded options which you can fold it down for extra cargo space and a look at the rear door panel with the ashtray rear windows are also automatic aluminum door seal for the back okay now let's see how you fold down the rear seat just press the button located on the headrest on each seat to fold it down very easy now let's get into the rear seat and see how it is in the back but first let me show you the look to the front very sporty cabin down here you have a dual air vent for the rear passenger heated seats as well cup holder another cup holder with the cigarette, uh, power, cigarette lighter and 12 volt power outlet Rear seats are very well padded, as you can see, it is very comfortable. And here's the look to the top. Alright, on top is the light controlled, one on each side, as well as the hook to hang your clothes. And you get two more air vent located on the side. Now, this is uh, how I look in the back. I'm 5'8. And that's how much leg room I have left with the seat fully back and the seat pocket. I'm very comfortable in the back. The seats offer very uh, a lot of support on the side as well as the back. And here you have the center armrest with the center storage compartment. Now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. Alright, very spacious trunk as you can see. So the panorama offer a total of 15.3 cubic feet of cargo space with both the rear seat up. And with both of the rear seats down, you get a total of 44.1 cubic feet of cargo space which is plenty of space for your need there you have the 12 volt power outlet and here you have the uh, tie kit and your tool now this panel here can also be removed and here is how it looks with the uh, rear seats down One touch close.
gas cap is located on the passenger side with the door unlock just press it in to open now it does require premium uh, gas only and holds approximately 26.4 gallons of fuel a very large tank overall the Porsche Panorama is a four-door, four-passenger sedan with a hatchback-style trunk. Both rear passengers will be very comfortable sitting in the back thanks to the comfortable rear seat that offer plenty of support as well as the spacious legroom and headroom. The front cabin, however, offers plenty of luxurious features with nicely upholstery material. The premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims all goes together very well with the dash. And most important of all, front seats offer plenty of space for any size adult as well. Now let's jump into the passenger seat to show you how it looks. Very nice and comfortable. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 Porsche Panorama video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.